Josh. Together, we built VoCode. While working on previous projects, we realized we needed to use the same code repeatedly. Our workflow would be slowed down by searching through boilerplate files, copying and pasting something close, and tediously changing the specifics to make it fit. That process gets old really fast. We realize this problem not only affects programmers, it affects anyone who writes with their computer regularly. There had to be a better way, so we asked, what if we could use our voices to help the process? Enter VoCode. VoCode is a desktop application that enables users to perform tasks with voice commands. It listens in the background, so you can use it in tandem with your favorite text editor. It's easily customizable, and you can share what you've made with other developers. Kevin's going to show us how it works. Thanks, Dave. There's two primary ways to use VoCode. First, you can render code directly in the text editor embedded in VoCode. For this example, I want to create a new Express server. Usually, this involves copying over a lot of boilerplate code. It's kind of just a pain to write. However, by pressing Option-Z and telling VoCode, give me an Express server, the code is rendered automatically into the text editor. This is great. I can quickly and easily get my code on screen. Um, while getting code on screen is half the battle, it would be nice if I could do so in my normal workflow. To solve this problem, we decided to make VoCode a standalone desktop application using Electron. By moving our application out of the browser, users are able to access VoCode globally. For example, here I am in my text editor of choice, VS Code, and I need to create a new React component. Like before, I press Option Z, and I can tell VoCode is listening by this red triangle up in the tray. I then say, Component, hello world. VoCode sends a confirmation that it has heard me and copy code to my clipboard. I can then paste into my projects and continue building. Now Jake is going to walk us through the user experience. Thanks, Kevin. Our pre-programmed coding commands are things we found useful, but developers are all working on different projects. We wanted VoCode to be customizable as to be most useful for each individual developer. By clicking Add Snippet, a user is taken to an editor where they can add in their own custom coding commands. Users have the option to either type in new code or import it from an existing file. In this example, I'll import a Webpack configuration file that I'd like to use again. Now all I have to do is add in a short description and hit save. The, text will the snippet will now be shown in my snippet page every time I log in and can be accessed with just a simple voice command. As a developer, you're part of a community that shares and collaborates. We wanted our users to have access to snippets created by their peers. On the Discover page, users can find and add other users' snippets that they think would be useful. If the snippet isn't exactly what a user is looking for, they can fork it and make it their own. Josh will now take us through the rest of the app. Thanks, Jake. We also wanted users to be easily able to navigate to websites important to their workflow. In the uh, profile page, I can save important URLs and go to them with a simple command like, show me my GitHub. Or, where's a great place to learn how to code? So how does it work? When a user speaks into the microphone, they generate a binary large object, or a blob. We then take that blob and change it into a base64 string, which we pass up to Google Speech Cloud API. Google parses the information, turns it into English, and gives it back to us to run through your dictionary. That then gives you the command you're looking for. To have your own personal voice coding assistant, head over to vocode.tk. Thank you.